guys, and today we're talking about the 250 by Umagod. I need about 350. What's 350? I've been a fan for a while. I built up a couple of Acrobrats a few years ago. Let's go over the build very quickly. The Umagod motors, these are the 2000 version. The Ultralights, they have cutouts on the bell to reduce the weight, some really unique features. I'm using the Cadex Nebula Pro. I'm using the iFlight Beast F7. That's right, I followed the recommended build to a T. And then of course, a crossfire with the Immortal T up front. I'm also using Bi-Blades, which is a first for me. I normally do use Tri-Blades, but I wanted to follow the build recommendation and see how it went. Speaking of that, that's what makes this one of the best build experiences even for an experienced builder like myself, a lot of thought goes into how to arrange the components, how to select the components, how to make them fit, and how to get them programmed and tuned the best way. A lot of times I'll spend almost more time figuring out how to lay everything out than actually building it. So the fact that Tommy's made a video from A to Z telling you how to build all of this stuff, where to put each standoff, how to mount the Vista, um, how to tune it, how to program it. If you use the recommended build components, you have all of that guesswork taken out of you. It saves a tremendous amount of time. It makes it so easy and pleasurable. Nothing is worse than getting a whole build up and then realizing your wires won't fit one way. The standoffs you have are too short or too tall, or you don't have the right connector or something like that. And none of that happens with this build. It's just absolutely beautiful. There's some things that even me as an experienced builder didn't realize, like the fact that you can use the connector that comes in the Vista unit itself to plug directly into the iFlight Beast, and it just went together like magic. Um, so the build was actually quite fast and quite nice. The way it flies is exceptional, guys, at this light weight. And at first I thought this is gonna be more of the same. I've done a few of these ultralights in the five inch size. The two most recent were the HGLRC Recon and the Catalyst Machine Works Shocker Light. What I noticed about this though, was both of those builds came out at about 195 grams. This build with props, with strap, 178 grams. 20, almost 20 grams lighter. And then when you're talking about a build that's under 200 grams, 20 grams is a tremendous amount of weight. Now, how do they accomplish that? Like I said, the motors that only have two screw mounting holes and the arms only have two screw mounting holes, that reduces weight. The bells have these cutouts to allow better airflow, but also reduce weight. Um, they're going with some thinner materials around here, but the arms are actually fairly thick for an ultralight. Speaking of thick arms, you actually have a nice bit of motor protection out at the end of the arm. Uh, one of the things that I don't like about the size class is often they omit motor protection and camera protection and component protection, but Umagod has not done this. They've reduced the weight all around, but they've managed to keep the strength there to protect your components. The flight feel of this is absolutely stupendous. Uh, it is very, very light though. The recommended battery for this is like a 556S or like a 650 to 750 4S. I'm flying 4S, but on these, I like to use the same battery on all of them just to be consistent so I can make better comparisons. I use a 1050 milliamp 4S. That's a 125 gram battery. The spec battery should be more like 70, 85 grams. So that's a bit, a bit of extra weight, but even if that extra weight of a heftier than spec battery, it felt a little bit floaty. Um, it has a lot of power, a lot of control. The tune that he gives you is excellent. This is probably one of the better flying quads I've ever built. And it's because it's been tuned by a professional and all I had to do was just follow the steps since I used the same build ingredients that he did. That was exceptionally nice. Uh, I just couldn't believe how smooth it was. Now I do, I would like a little bit of extra weight though. So with the battery I was using, I'm already over 250 grams. So that's one note. Even though it's called 250, unless you use a very tiny battery, which you could do, you're not gonna actually hit that weight to be sub 
250 grams, but that's okay. I think that most of the magic happens in this class around 300 grams. Remember, we still have almost three years to get down to under 250 grams. What's the thing wrong with it? As you can see, I do have a mount at the front for the Insta360 GO 2. Uh, one of the best things about the size class is that it weighs less. You have less to worry about if you crash it into something and the noise is so low that people will not hear you. These by blades make almost no noise uh, with this ultralight product. So I really love this. This is probably the ultimate park flyer. So what do I not like about it? Well, there's almost no way to mount any kind of an action camera to this. Now, there was a clever designer, I'll put his name on the screen right here, who made this mount. But since there's only this front standoff at the top to attach to, you have to like make a little slide thing that just kind of press fits onto the top plate and it didn't really work that well for me. Uh, I got a ton of jello in the Insta360 GO 2 footage, even after I ran it through the stabilization thing. So that's the downside. There's no real easy action camera mounting solutions for this. Maybe they'll come out with an option from Umagod that works better. Uh, I know that the DJI footage is so usable, it's so great, it's so juicy that a lot of people want to be able to fly that. I've been saying that I love how usable the DJI footage is, but when there are excellent cameras that are even better out there, like the Insta360 GO 2 or a naked GoPro, you want to be able to fly it on this. I think the weight of that balances it out perfectly. I loved the feel of it with that extra weight on it. It was just so predictable. It was so precise. It was some of the best freestyle flying I've ever flown at any size class. It just... If I wanted to go crashing and trying to hit specific tiny gaps, like this would be what I would choose. And it was a little frustrating not to be able to get that action camera in there. But if that's not a big deal to you, I love all of the care and design choices made for this from the packaging to the straps that are really nice to these sort of root beer colored motors, the matching, these are not just regular button head screws, these are premium looking screws that give you a nice consistent feel throughout the whole build. It just looks absolutely stunning. So from a coolness factor, this is way up there. So who is this for? I think it comes down to the top two things you can build in this class are going to be this and the shocker. If you want the best feel, I got to give it to the Umagod. If you want the best protection, I think they're about equal in that regard. The build Catalyst always does really nice build videos for the frames, but this one goes one step further, so the nod has to go to this Umagod. Now, if you want to mount an action camera, though, you got to go with the Shocker Lite. But if you want to just fly with the DJI, you have cameras on your full-size quads. This is a park flyer. This is a fun flyer. This is something that you can take and fly for fun on your own this is the top option out there in that instance. What in the comments, guys? Are you loving this ultralight? Have you actually gotten down to sub 250? With the 1050 milliamp battery, I was able to get doing medium freestyle nine minutes of flight time. So you could pick a smaller battery that would bring you in spec for the weight requirement of getting under 250 grams and still have three to five minutes of flight time, no problem. So it is possible with this combination, although I think it feels and flies a little bit better with the extra weight. Thanks guys.
Thank you.